wipe the whole team with Hylos. That's I think that's their best team fight scenario. Yeah, Legends. absolutely. So, ladies and gentlemen, once again, Five as we step into game one, it's BTK taking on the blue side and Smash NE taking on the red. I'm your caster, Assassin Dave. With me, the one, the two and only, goes to favorites, Hoon and Paulo, expert, coming at you. Game one, once again, if you haven't liked, subscribe, and turn that bell on, this is your chance to do that. Unfortunately, I apologize for the pause, but, uh, pause. If you're a spectator, please do not hit the pause button. Thank you very much. Yeah, but looking at the tournament here, you can see a two star and look at BTK. They're gonna start off blue buff. So what do you think about a rotation uh, on both sides, Paulo? Well, both teams have really good early game, honestly. But Hilo's counter is dropped here, so you know A is doing a really good job being aggressive here on this bot lane, making sure making sure that Zane doesn't get this red buff and oh. keep Zane out of the farm. Zane and look at this rock and. Bruno is already taking very low. The red buff is still in the bush here. It's not like AE will secure it comfortably, uh, making them starting all the game with a little bit of advantage. Now, we have seen this before in the semifinals. AE had this advantage, and then from one mistake, they kind of threw the advantage away. Now, bottom lane, Tham was one versus twoing, and it seems like he gives no care in the world. Continue to jump in with that power of vengeance. Zane's not going to do any damage right now, and it seems like AE is running the one through one hyper carry strategy. Oh, it's actually Tinker on Esmeralda. We can't on Farsa. Wow, this is very smart of AE because Thomas is one of the best solo lane they can. Uh, oh, the ultimate fall up, blood. and we will be taken down. First blood goes to Assassination Esports. Wow. wow. Really good execution from AE. Yo, what do you think they did right over there? Now they're rotating back to bottom lane again. You can see aggression on the bottom side is not connected. Zane this time does not have Purify. He'll be taking very low, down to zero. Another one to two trade to A's favor. As now you can see Kufra jumping in. Nuggets on the engage right here, but find himself alone. Farsa is gonna fly away through the wall. And nothing else will happen. AE already leading the game with a 2,000 goal advantage. So, I got a question. I mean, Paulo, what do you think BDK need to do at this point to turn around in, in game one? I think the mid laner needs to focus more on the bot lane since the turtle will spawn there. And plus, Zay needs to get fed. This Bruno needs, needs to get to late game as fast as possible if they want to catch back up. I agree with Paolo. The third, three minute mark is most important in Mobile Legends right now, which, which is when turtle spawns and all your second buffs spawn. Yeah, absolutely. BDK needs to secure those to have a better late game. You can see it. Hey, now invading oh. the blue buff. The stun comes in. Hui's taking very low. He got the blue. But at what cost? Nakis will pop that flicker just to get himself away. And A will back away from this invade for now. Are they going to make an invade turtle into the red buff? Or is, are they going to set off for the turtle? You can see right now Zane is going to dash away from that bush. making Knowing that he's the only one alone here. Tinker is going to stay in the front. Pop. Oh, a nice wall from Grok. Putting the entire AE at a corner here. Farsa coming in with the damage. The ultimate comes out. Grok's taking very low. Oh, a so beautiful close. engage from AE once again. And now they're going to make the march to the enemy red buff once again. Look at that engage. Stun comes in. Farsa. Red buff has been taken down. Who's oh, Zane in the front line taking very low. It's Hui actually taking down. As I'm just gonna call hero names because I have four, I have three MOBA Zane from BDK side. I actually don't know who's who, so I'm, I apologize for that. <laughs> <laughs> just... Yeah, that's what I noticed too. All their names are MOBA Zane, and I'm like, who's who? Yeah, uh, this is just, yeah, it's it's Hui. I'm pretty Hui, I'm pretty sure it's Hui Zaltra. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, 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 Hylos activated ultimate, and then AE continues to secure the turtle here. It's four to nothing, and they're gonna secure a turtle, and it's still in the small cam with a with a flame shot. Really well done from AE once again. Continue extended advantage. Now sitting at a comfortable 4,000 gold advantage four minutes into the game. This is very, very bad for BTK. They both they lost both turrets and they didn't secure the uh, red buff and turtle, which is huge disadvantage. Yeah. Initiate yeah, absolutely. Retreat. But again, retreat. it's Vessel 7, so this is only game one. You know, can AE take this advantage into a win? That's a question we have to find out. So, Paulo, what do you think AE need to do in order to maintain, you know, this driver's seat? 
If they want to maintain this lead, they need to keep aggressive and, you know, not not to be greedy. Just go for objectives like they're doing right now. You see how they're doing four-man mid? Uh, yeah, Scoobar coming towers. out. A beautiful engage from the entire team of BDK right here. Leo Moore making a Martian team fight. Tinker taking oh. low. be taken down. Bush trying to get himself out. He will find a successful escape. It's a 1-0 trade. And BDK will take this win for now. Faze is going to walk away. Initiate, 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 initiate. And nothing else will happen. The both sides will break off from this team fight. This is what AD is to be careful of, because once you start giving Zane a kill, he has this uh, momentum to build it to the late game, which is very scary. Exactly, exactly. That's absolutely right, because Zane is known to be a hero that knows how to counter punch really well. Even though sometimes you put him really behind, if he has Bounty Hunter, and he put Bounty Hunter on most of the marksmen that he plays. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if you start giving him that gold through that Bounty Hunter emblem, you can bat on the fact you can bat on the, the fact that he will pop off. So you can see that PDR looking for invade a little bit. He got a small can. Meanwhile, mid lane, Tinker's looking for it, you know, pushing the wave in. They're looking to invade it yet again. Kufra looking jumping in any moment. Got Farsight into the back. Who's taking very low, but it's a three four versus a two in the front. You can see Zoltra taking very low. Hilo still on pursuit. Nuggets might not escape out of this three man dive here. Leo more jumping in with an ultimate, finding two men. Very, very low. Bush trying to get himself out. Not gonna happen. Tinker gets up very low. Fake coming in. Finally find a flank of the team fight. It's a disaster to the side of BTK. And A takes this fight with absolute domination. Dominating win. And meanwhile, they're doing the team fight. Chu pushed the second turret on the top side. And then, and then connected with the team. Which is very, very smart play. You're absolutely a, right. Definitely out rotating BTK right now. A is taking the advantage in rotation and team fights. I mean. What does is, what is, what is BDK need to do at this point? Do you think they still have a chance? Are they still in the game, Paul? I think what they're they do... The oh, okay, okay, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> they're still in the game. They still have Bruno late game while, you know, uh, A, they don't have, like, a really strong late game. They don't have a marksman. So they need to worry about that. Try to finish the game as fast as possible. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, also both teams need a lot, use a lot of strong heroes this game. You know, you got you got Chow, you got Asmerada, you got Farsa, and most importantly, I was silent because right now it's best of seven. Best of seven, a lot of things uh, in all around band pick. The most worrisome picks. Oh, Gra jumping in with a two man knockup. This is engage that BDK is looking for. You have Zoltra taking very low on the Grok in the back line. Asmerada jumping in with the ultimate on two people. This might be a big engage for AE. Everybody's jumping in. Hui has already been taken down. 2-0 to, to AE is the favor, and they take this team fight yet again. Wow. <laughs> I told you about the Esmeralda, right? Like, if there's no CC, this Esmeralda just wow. keeps spinning and just keeps sustaining. And Leomard won't be of much help because of the, you know, he can't do much of, without the passive. Yeah, yeah, the only hero that can punish Esme is Bruno, but by punishing Bruno early game, there's no one to stop Esme at the moment. Yeah. Look at Farsa doing damage on the side. <laughs> a beautiful wall <laughs> from the Grok to Diago with a rep off. But one, going back to Hoon's comment, I love it. He just said, wow. <laughs> <It's so laughs> After look I at mean, the rep off taken by AE Tinker. Yet again, ooh. Bush being blocked out by the wall. But he's way too tanky for PDK to dive on right now. So they're going to go ahead and just make a retreat. And AE continues to mend their control. Con currently sitting at... 8,000 gold advantage in the game. Oh, gotta be, gotta be watch out. As wow. mission into that. Yeah, what do you think about item build? You can see Hylos building the Twilight Armor as a first item. What do you think about that item? Who? The item choice is really smart, I think. Because Heart is really no damage right now. And the only thing to think about is Bruno. Yeah. And by building that, Bruno has no damage whatsoever to us. Exactly. Now, Bo look at Bush on the side. That, getting engaged on yet again. Farsa staying back, just bombarding everyone. And BDK will back away. Handing the turtle once again to AE. This is the third turtle they have received. They have secured this game. And that's going to catapult their control in this game yet again. Um, you can see the goal lead continue to lean towards AE. This might be the curve that you want in the stock market. <laughs> but this is uh, the, this is obviously just reflecting in this game one right here. AE definitely, with, even without a starting roster, they are taking it to PDK. They're giving a run for their money. For sure, for sure. 
So, so Paulo, I mean, uh, what do you think right now? Because the Lord is coming up in one minute. Is there something that BDA can do to set up for the Lord? Because if they lose this Lord right here, AE can... It seems like it's just a game they're going to walk away with. Yeah, definitely. A is looking really good right now. Um, BTK, they can't really do much since the map pressure and the map advantage is on um, AE right now. Yeah. Um, and they could, they could, they just need to wait for the Lord, to be honest with you, and just finish the game once they take that. Exactly. AE really want this bottom tier to tower. They have not yet gotten it, but you can see a lot of pressure being put on the entire map right now. The bottom tier 2 wave has been cleared once again. Is AE just waiting for the wrap up? Continue to take it away from Zane. And who absolutely pop off and just take the game with a, a carry with a lot of farm. That usually what happens with BTK. So you can see AE is securing, just putting a lot of pressure on their red. And definitely, definitely dominating with that in game one. Farsa coming in with the ultimate, doing quite a bit of damage. Shanti Zane to the backline. Bush already pressing this Bruno away. So AE tried to secure the bottom tier 2 tower. There is a cannon minion away. Bush is taking very low. But they will take the tower down before 30 seconds. Still with 30 seconds on the clock before the first lore coming out in the game. Wow, I mean, what about this game? Because obviously, who I think you like you favored a BTK's composition. What did AE do right this game to to take control in this game? Hey! AE knew what the game game plan was because other than Bruno, there like I said, there's no one to kill Esme. Yeah. So that's why they focused uh, punching Zayn early game, really hard, and that worked out really well right now. Yeah, absolutely. You're absolutely right on that because um, they punished. Zane, you can see total gold right now. Zane's sitting at 6,200 gold. Actually, not that far behind, but that is the same amount of gold of of Farsa, which is a support for AE. Um, mm -hmm. So right now, the entire AE is setting up for Lord. They do not have a marksman, like you said. They have a bunch of fighters. Farsa is probably the only long-range heroes that they have. As I mentioned, they need someone to can poke, and sure enough, they secured Farsa in first game. No one's stingy in hero picks. Now, just like Paulo pointed out, this is all run band pick, so any heroes retreat. that you used in game one would not be allowed in future games, so whoever wins the game will have a huge advantage because both teams really expended a lot of heroes. Mm -hmm. I think what BTK do can do right now is just turtle. Other than that, I don't see anything they can do. They can even push out because they don't. They can get the vision. When you say turtle, you mean like just Lord. Stay, stay in the high ground tower. Try to get soak up some farm, pull out some really good defense. Yeah, yeah. Like make them come in and then throw. Yeah, but. I don't think AE would uh, give, him, give them any chance for doing that. Yeah, now you can see Tinker already throwing the front. Farsa bar bombarding Ooh. the back line yet again. This is... Oh, Grako taking to 1 HP and engaged uh. from all around BTK. As for the ultimate diamond in, they cannot find a kill just yet, but everybody stays alive. And now Chow making entrance in the team fight. The knockout connects. It's a disaster inside of the base. Chow comes and he finds a kick. But at what cost, he'll be taken down. Mid high ground tower stays alive. Bottom high ground tower stays alive. And this is the downside of a composition without a marksman. But now, AE will make a rotation down mid lane, finding the first high ground tower to their favor. So one to two trade. So do you think that's a good push, Paulo? Yeah, I think that was worth it for AE. They got one in hip tower on mid lane, which is probably the most important lane in the game. And, you know, they got the other towers, you know, they got one bot tower in hip tower pretty low. That's also really good. Um, the Chu got kind of too greedy on killing Zayna towards the end. But overall, A did a really good siege. Yeah. I, I, I personally, I agree with that. And right now, A is si sitting as 13,000 goalie. Like I said, it's this goalie have not yet curved. They, they had control since uh, second one, and it seems like they're maintaining with it. Zane still haven't yet to got a single red buff this entire game. And that's probably the only person you want to get farmed for BTK. Now, obviously, they can also get uh, someone like uh, Harvest really farmed. They understand, A understood that the weakness of BTK's early game, secured early game. Leo Moore is not the early game heroes that you want. Harris not the early game heroes you want. And they capitalize on it. You can see the results. It's absolutely dem uh, just demolishing their opponents right now. Top lane, Asmo not gonna all oh, Kush have to pop the purify get himself out. Stay at a one HP. Farsa bumping that all, oh, getting Kush to one HP, but still stay alive for now. Top lane, Tinker has been taken down. Despite Hylos coming in to help his teammate, is not gonna do anything at this point. And A will back away, just like who said. This is the time for BDK to turtle, and turtle they sh they are. I mean, they're just turtling really really well right now. Esmeralda was really overextended on that engagement. 
I don't know why she was there, but that was a big. That's a big mistake. That's gonna, you know, set delay A from yeah winning again. Yeah, it's gonna set him back. Now Zayn got his first buff. Now we talk about how Zayn once he gets a buff, it's gonna be a Zayn 2.0. It's gonna be a different Zayn. But A still hasn't yet to lose a single tower here. Speaking of losing a tower, this is Kufrat engaging the three point into the back. Leo more coming oh. in a beautiful engage from the entire side of BDK. A disaster spell for A. It's a two to zero. Phoenix make it three to zero. PDR coming to the team fight, finding nothing. One versus four. He's not gonna survive despite the vengeance. Getting engaged on yet again. He'll jump away for now. And A looking to defend before the BDK Hurricane. Just mistake over and over again. And now they're gonna stop the bleed and PDR are gonna clear the wave successfully. Look at Nuggets looking to engage yet again. This blue buff looks like most likely to be taken away by BDK here. This is, make, this is them making a comeback. They're still, is, despite oh, the, the advantage they have, they still have a vertical wall to climb as they are still 10,000 gold behind. I like how BDK has no fear in doing the thing to fight the so behind. Yeah. They, they capitalize on the disadvantage and no Farsa should not be in that bush. If anything, mm -hmm. Farsa need to be in a more defensive bush right now. And now this is BTK setting up for the Lord before AE. Maybe we will see Epic come back. AE is still 10,000 gold ahead. Can they push through the advantage? What does AE need to do to continue the snowball and actually win the game? I mean, I, 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 I think they have problem fin up, finishing off the game despite their advantage right now. So I think yeah. uh, Chu needs to split push top and then control the map instead of fighting yeah because if you keep pressuring the lanes btk is really problem with it oh they're in the team fight now once again bush is going to be targeting gage on pdr in the back line this is bush who will be taking out first as much jumping down three people kufra a beautiful engage once again tinker taking very low he's still alive first i'm gonna fly Thanks away the two to zero trade for btk's favor and now they're gonna make a move onto the lord an uh, interesting engage. Now they cannot do anything to the cool fire, it seems like. They cannot peer through. And the Farsa is not doing any damage to the backline right now. Yeah. A is definitely thrown right now. Like I said earlier, BTK has the late game and it's towards that late game right now. This Bruno is hurting even if Hylos has Twilight Armor. And he got free hit that last team fight and they just melted him. Yeah. They just keep giving BTK the fights that they don't need to do. Yeah, BDK is fighting like a fine man. I feel like AE is more separated right now. Hilo is taking a free hit, just like he said. Now you can see the Grok on the side, just poking everyone away. This is AE bracing for impact now before the BDK Hurricane. Farsa ultimate coming down, just try to clear away as much as they can. They try to do some damage to Kufra. Kufra might be too deep right here. Asmara looking for it all into the backline phase, taking low, have to pop the flicker just to get out. Asmara making an entrance team fight, but immediately knocked up. It's one versus five. It's not gonna do anything right now. And Kufra into the backline, just getting everybody low. Hilo finding a kill onto BDK Zane. This is a two to zero trade. A lost a high tower, but at what cost? BDK, they lost their carry. Harris still alive. One more knockout when to secure the kill. It's a three to zero trade so far. Asmara is still alive. And he takes the team fight and they hold their line. That was actually not a bad siege for BTK. They still got one in hit tower at mid as well, so it's gonna be one in hit mid tower for one in hit mid tower. Um, but the side lanes, they still have second tier tower, so the map control still goes to AE. But like again, Bruno is getting more fed and fed as the game goes on. They really need to play it safe. Yeah. It seems like they have trouble getting to Bruno right now. They they are not able to find the flank or the, enough sufficient damage under the back line. And Leo Moore is absolutely monstrous. Look at the item, right? You have Blade of you have Blood Blood uh, uh Bloodless X, you have Endless Battle, Queen's Wings, Immortality. I mean if this guy jump in onto A's backline, he can actually pose a serious threat. What an interesting game. What an up. We thought this grand final was going to be very, very ferocious, but we did not expect stuff like this happens. It's absolutely insane. So, wow. Just, just, this is just interesting how the game goes. Hmm. Now AE is looking to invade yet again. Kufra finding engage, but it's going to be on Hylos for now. Who will be blocked out. He's taking a lot of damage into the front line. AE looking to find a flank into the back line. He's a tinker on the side. Watch out for just, chew, bottom. Yeah, Chao is split pushing bottom, putting a lot of pressure on the side. But yeah, it's still peaceful right now. One minute and 30 seconds to the Lord. Farsa, look at a one ultimate. Yeah. I feel like A is getting the rotation back together again. Sending two fighters back to the sides. Yeah, I mean, right now they do not have 
the gold advantage at this point, I don't think really matters that much. Because it's, that much. yeah, it's over 50,000 gold. That's, if you think about 10,000 10, gold per person to fully stack your item, that's 50,000 gold is a lot of, it's basically everyone is fully stacked in a sense, right? Mm -hmm. Obviously you, you have a little bit of discrepancy uh, going to, um, you know, giving that most of the damage gonna given to be given to the marksman to carry. It's look at nuggets. I think Kufar played really, really well this game. This is definitely MVP for BDK coming in this game because he's able to call control, landing those beautiful ults on Farsa, on Esmeralda to make sure they don't do that much damage onto the back line. This is the only damage that they have. Oh, Tinker, oh, Tinker, oh. find himself alone. This might be dangerous. He will be eliminated wow. from the map. Farsa, find a little bit of damage. Not gonna be enough. The flame shot not gonna connect. A Tinker making a crucial mistake. 20 minutes into the game. Yeah, Just... he needs to watch out his position, especially when he has no purify. Yeah, yeah this was... Definitely not a good positioning. Yeah. Going to the bush by himself. This is exactly why, when I, before the game tournament started, I was warning AE that whatever you do in rank, it's going to be reflected in your tournament. And this is stuff that we've seen Tinker do over and over again in ranked games. That's why I said this is absolutely mm -hmm. just disastrous. Because BDK is taking another Lord. And with this Lord, this might be just their win. Because 15 seconds on the map, Asmeralda is their main damage source. Without Asmeralda, AE is just giving up this Lord completely. Yeah, if I'm AE right now, I wouldn't engage right now. I would just focus on defending this next Lord and reset from there. Yeah, definitely that has set a back by a lot. The, all the advantages they have received so far is just completely gone. You can see the gold advantage started shifting towards BDK, and the gold advantage at this point is, doesn't really matter. Like, even experience advantage can completely even up because both team, everyone's fully level 15 right now, and this is just AE bracing for impact before BDK's hurricane run over entire AE's base because they, right now, they do not have the, the, the long range poke. Like a like BDK has, aka the Bruno, aka the the Harith, for example, dive. So I, I actually worry about AE. I think this is probably the BTK's game to come back with. High lows, jump. Uh, look at Kufra jumping down the high lows. The stun comes in. Look a little bit of damage on the Kufra, but not gonna be enough. As the Lord is making a march onto the high ground tower. A does not have the damage to actually clear it. Asmara taking very low though. He will be bursted down yet again. Grok find a three man dive, and BTK is wiping through the rail position on the other side. Well, Kufar has been taking down one to one trade so far in the front line. The tank is absolutely unkillable. And now, are you going to rotate to the bottom side and defend the bottom high ground tower despite Kinder Tinger being taken down? Yet again, A hold their line. Oh, Ooh. a beautiful engage from Chow right here. Taking down the key mid laner on Hui. The Harris being taken down means A once again defending their base. Successfully, the flame shot comes out. A looks like they're on pursuit, looking for the back line. But now Hylos might be too isolated right here, taking quite a bit of poke from Thane. PDR jumping in, get himself low. What is this chase? What the? That's that not really messed up at all, bro. Yeah, hey. not messed up, bro. The messed up. That was definitely super greedy from Thamos and Hylos right there. They should have known that they didn't have enough damage output. They got micro by Zane and they paid for it. They both. Died. Why are they chasing? Initiate retreat. Why are they chasing? Their, like I don't. The I don't adrenaline know. is flowing in their uh, brain right now. Yeah. What I think AE right now. I think there are a lot of a thousand panic just going through their mind all at the same time because they are not playing their game. You can see Tinker walking the bush by himself yet again. That could be a Kufra and the three people sitting in that yeah. bush. He doesn't know. So obviously we know what's going on. So I think there, this mistakes. This this mistake gonna get AE killed in the game one. Definitely Esmeralda had. A there's a lot of positioning problems with Esmeralda this game, and that may have cost him the game. Yeah. Asmara was too confident in his in her ability to carry the game here, and Initiate obviously that retreat. they're paying for it with a heavy price. It's now the entire map is opened up. In fact, not even the map pressure. You can see the bottom Hagron Tower is at a slipper of health. Bruno lands one all attack, Harris lands one second ability. That tower is gone. Wow. What do you guys think about game one so far? <laughs> it's already 24 minutes. A did so good early game, but they just kind of threw it when Esmeralda got caught off a, a top lane. It started when Esme got caught at top lane, and they just went in one by one after that. Yeah. And then ETK got that, you know, they got that, uh, what's, that advantage right after that. They, you can they, see they, they got late game. 
Chow split push on the side. Thamus waiting. Hablo getting poked. Same as counter poke from Farsa right here. Great job on the flame shot. Meanwhile, bottom lane. Chow's not getting the heck. He's taking the high ground tower. Despite this Leomor right here showing the power of a fighter. He and the go ahead and dash himself out. One versus Ooh. one. The pure fight comes out. See on the bottom side. Meanwhile, on the front line team fight. You already have Hui being taken out. And A looking to find a little bit of poke here and there. Farsa coming out with the bar, the ultimate. And top lane, nothing can happen yet. And Faye looking to get himself into the team fight. He might be one bursted percent. down with Brutal's one little kick. Grok finding a four minute knockup, but nothing follow up just yet. PDR will have to get away. See, backline, this Grok is fast and furious. He doesn't give a care in the world. Hylos might be taking down right here. Asmo to find himself M ulting of empty ground. They're not gonna be in a good position. AU will have to back away. Tinker being zoned oh. out. He's not gonna find an escape right here. He doesn't have any mana. And he will probably be taken down, even with the shield. And ladies and gentlemen, this is a 3 to one trade to ace to BDK's favor. Look at that engage. Farsa will have to get himself out, but Kufa is not letting him happen. This is a wiped out inside the base. PDR only one alive. And make that clean ace. And this is it. BDK will now march to the victory, taking the game away from AE in game one. Wow. Wow. I can't believe Q would go back in with 1 HP against Bruno.